I'm recreating The Last Supper in my style. In the first video, I did the research. In the second video, I built the panel and started the sketch. In the third video, I finished the sketch and started prepping the panel. Now, here we are in the fourth video and it's time for me to start painting. I did put on one last layer of gesso in the last video and I need to sand this. Normally I like to sand outside, but um, yeah. It's like 20 degrees. So I need to figure out a way to sand this thing inside without completely destroying my YouTube studio. Move this table my industrial maker made for me. Roll up the carpet. How do I control the dust? Yeah. Perfect. I am a freaking cyborg. Need some adjustments. Gotta slide it back a little bit. Initiate vacuum. Initiate sander. I don't think this is really working. <laughs> Not at all. You wanna just follow me around with this thing? <laughs> yeah. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right, the sanding is done. Now it's time for me to take my concept art and transfer it onto the panel. So the iPad is going into the projector. The projector is going onto the painting, but I'm running into a little issue here. This thing is only 480p, very low resolution. And I don't know if you can see, but you can like see every single pixel on here and I'm just losing like a lot of detail. And I'd like my transfer to be as detailed as possible. So I think I have another projector at home. I'm gonna go see if it has a higher resolution. All right, I went home and got another projector the last one was 480p this one is 720p baby that's like almost double the p's fun fact i got this projector as a gift box when i went out to la for the live stream with the merrill twins they had like a gift bag with this and some bluetooth headphones and like a speaker that made me feel like a celebrity so i'm putting this to use let's get mr 480 out of here what should i do with this and here's the new one yeah 20, that should be plenty. Listen to that thing purr like a kitten. It's like 540 horsepower, pure projection power. Oh yeah, that's more P. Way better, dude. So many Open your eyes to find what lies beneath. We have spent quite some time transferring the sketch using the Projectamundo. That took us like freaking four hours. You know, I was talking to my editor, Nick, about how it's so hard to communicate the passage of time with the YouTube video. It's super fast motion, super highly edited. And I was like, how can we better communicate that? He had a genius idea. He was like, dude, what if you didn't shave the entire time you were working on this Last Supper painting? And I was like, I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I can grow a beard. I've never really tried. It might just be like a patchy rat pelt on my face, but I guess we're gonna find out. I am not shaving until the Last Supper painting is done. So I think I'm gonna hit it with this fixative because I want to tone the panel, but I don't want the watered down acrylic paint to smear this graphite all around that we spent so long putting on here. So here we go. I need some paint. I need some paint. He needs some paint. Huh? He needs some paint. It is time. He needs the paint. Godspeed, brother. Thank you. I got it. I got it. Roll like the wind. Oh, my legs. There's some paint. Thank you. Could it be it's finally time to actually use some paint on this thing? I feel like we've come so far and yet we've only just begun. So I'm gonna tone this panel. Got a little bit of yellow ochre. Got a little bit of burnt umber. Got a little bit of vat orange. Got a bucket, got a brush. I'm gonna mix these three in there with some water and then we're gonna tone this panel brown clogged. Man, I haven't painted with just like my classic goldens for a long time. Ew, gross. Come on, yellow ochre. We back, baby. Little bit of orange, soak the brush up, mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, yeah. 
I think it needs more water. It's been a long time since I painted with paint. Well, I guess that's not true, cause whenever you paint, you use paint. Yeah, that's a little bit more transparent. Uh-huh, it's on, it's game time. It's last supper time. I'm also hitting this with a layer of matte medium right now because for some reason, pencils just love freaking going on matte medium. And I know I'm gonna need to do a lot more sketching and pencil drawing on this to kind of clean up my tracing transfer. Oh, by the way, this entire video series is a giant elaborate treasure hunt. I've hidden a crazy web of clues and codes and riddles throughout all of these videos. And it's up to you digital detectives at home to figure out what the heck is going going on here? Why is Santa Hunter doing all this weird stuff? As a matter of fact, on New Year's Eve, I drove six hours to Northern Michigan to go bury some treasure. And one of you genius detectives went out there and found it and dug it up. Whoa. What the heck? That would be the clue. This is like Christmas Chronicles. The yeah. journey shall be rewarded. Had oh. busted in. Oh, knew it. I knew it was money. Holy. That's awesome. 100 probably. That's so cool. More than that. 400. 400. Wow. So if you guys want to see what was hidden inside of that cryptix you just saw, or if you want to go participate in the investigation, or if you just want to grab your popcorn and watch smart people figure out weird things, you can head over to the 1000 subreddit, r slash 1000 baby, that's where it's going down. And in the end, one of you very clever detectives will actually win this original painting. If you look at how much some of the other art I've been painting lately is going for, this is probably one of the most valuable things I've ever given away on this channel. Anyway, it's time for me to start freaking working on this painting. Here we go. working on the concept sketch for this piece for so long and it just feels so dang good to finally be painting this. I've been doing a lot of digital art, a lot of murals, but just good old painting is great. We'll see if I'll still be whistling the same tune at the end of this process, but right now it's freaking awesome. Ah, Poopity. How are you today, my fine young friend? Oh, I'm a good tiny hondo, but I have a big problem. Oh, tell me, Poopity, what is your problem? You see, Tenny Hondo, I make these beautiful suit of cars all day and all night, but alas, I have no customers to buy them. Oh, Poopity, not to worry. You see, I am a genius. All you have to do is start a website on Squarespace. A Squarespace? Yes, Poopity. Squarespace is an all-in-one dynamic platform where you can build a beautiful website. Oh, but Tenny Hondo, I do not know how to build a website. Poopity, it's so easy. They have these amazing award-winning templates, and all you have to do is take your stupid thing that you made, drop it into their amazing templates, and boom, you have a website. But if you do run into any issues, they have 24-7 customer support, and they can help you out. Poopity, the customer service is so good, it blows the hat right off of my head. Oh, I see, Tenny Hondo. The same thing happened to me. Oh, but Tenny Hondo, I cannot afford a super expensive website. What will I do, Tenny Hondo? You see, go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 1000 for 10% 10 off the first purchase of a website or domain. Oh, Tenny Hondo, this is amazing. I can build a website. Thanks, Squarespace. Squarespace. <laughs> okay. Harold Harrington here with Beard Watch, and we are in the 1000 studio today to get an update on the beard. Mr. 1000, how are you feeling about the beard today? How did you get in here? 
So I noticed that there's a little bit of growth on there, maybe about a centimeter. How long has it been since you started growing it out? It's been about 10 days, Harold. 10 days, really? Hey, Larry, get a close-up on this guy's beard. That looks like about two or three days for any average man. Larry, get the camera back on me. And this has been Harold Harrington with Beard Watch. Check back in for live updates. The name of the game right now is the background. When I paint, I like to work from back to front. So that means in most of my paintings, I start with the background. As I was making this piece, I was kind of surprised at how much of the actual painting is the background. It's probably the least detailed part, but it takes up a good chunk of the painting. These eight paintings on the wall took up a lot of my time. They're like paintings within paintings. I think maybe the Cardinal character painted these paintings. He seems to be the painter of the group. So maybe he put these paintings on the wall to share a hidden message with the rest of the people at the party. I really feel like I'm painting super slow, but there's just like so many distractions, emails, texts, employees asking questions, just like a thousand things. But my plan today is to just like ignore everything, go as hard as I can, get a huge chunk of this background done. I don't know if my plan will go well. Ignoring people is very hard to do. Doing what I do, which is, you know, being an artist YouTuber, I talk to so many young up and coming artists or even older artists who are picking the paintbrush back up after putting it down for a long time. And I always give them the advice of, you know, just put in the time, practice your craft, keep painting, keep drawing. But that's just so much easier said than done. Life always seems to get in the way of pursuing your passion. You only have so much time and that time always seems to be eaten up by the boring, mundane things in life. So if you're an artist out there struggling with that i feel you maybe just try to get like 10 percent more time spent doing what you love to do it can only be beneficial but just know i struggle with it all righty i think that's as far as we're gonna take it in this video i got a lot of the background done so far i think in the next video we're gonna start working on the characters i'm so excited thank you so much to my patrons what do you guys think of the painting so far it's still the boring part i know but the fun part is coming actually i, I don't have a stand to hold this painting up so nick is actually holding this thing up hey nick is my human easel all right y'all i'm 10 hundred this is the recreation of the last supper i will catch you guys on the next one Mmm, peace out, y'all. Don't drop that. <laughs> I'm really sitting in the sand, are they?